Following a thrilling 3 each draw at Ibrox 10 days ago, United and Rangers back to Tanadice for the replay of the 125th Active Nation Scottish Cup quarter-final, who will go through to face Wraith Rovers in the semi at Hamden. Dundee United make two changes to the side which started on Saturday. Darren Dodds and David Robertson coming in. Andy Webster missing out under the loan agreement again. Danny Swanson drops to the bench. Paul Dixon, some speculation he might make it tonight. Didn't quite make it, but Mikhail Kovacevic is fit, despite a hamstring knock. So he's the right back with Sean Dillon at left back. Walter Smith conscious of tired legs in the Rangers ranks. He's also without a few through injury and suspension. Kirk Broadfoot and Maggie Bugera out with hamstring injuries. Lee McCulloch suspended. So too Kevin Thompson, despite an attempt to lodge an appeal before five o'clock, it was immediately rejected by the SFA. And Stephen Davis misses out through a virus. There's seven changes to the Rangers side. McGregor, Beasley, Naismith, Edu, Fleck, Lafferty and Little all come in. The only four survivors from Sunday. The back four, Whitaker, Weir, Wilson and Papach. The referee for the encounter tonight, as it was for the original tie, Doogie MacDonald. Oh, what an atmosphere we'll have. United have sold out their allocation of tickets. George Fox stand and the Eddie Thompson stand. Packed to the rafters, full of people supporting the world-famous Dundee United. And we're underway with United attacking the Eddie Thompson stand end in the first half. And I'm sure we'll take a little bit of time to just work out the shape of the Rangers side. So many changes. David Robertson in there, though. Good Willie. He turns it to Robertson. Goodwill, he went down with a clash of Stephen Naismith after he'd released the ball. Glavin wins the header. Gomez finds Conway. Dillon gives chase. Keeps it in, but can't find a tangerine shirt. And Whitaker clears. And Whitaker from off the side of his head. Lavin measures the ball forward. Gavilli gives the challenge against Danny Wilson. And that's a foot in from David Robertson. Here's Goodwillie trying to wriggle free. Daly sets himself, shoots. Oh, and almost finds the early goal again, John Daly. Decent save from Alan McGregor. Yeah, only a minute into the game there. David Goodwillie has done all the good work there. Ball coming into him, clearly onside. Tries to go past the player. Breaks the Daly, one touch. Fires a great shot and McGregor, no nonsense, puts out for a corner for United. Well, he managed to find the top corner on Saturday, couldn't quite do so tonight. Corner comes back to Gomez. Now Prince Boabin. It's Whitaker who hangs out a leg to block that one. United trying to get at Rangers early on. Dylan, here's Conway, chance to keep the pressure on. Trying to exchange passes with Daly. John Fleck got a foot in. Lafferty, that's a ball to no one. I think most people agreed pre match. It's important United started this game well. You have to say that first two minutes there have been very promising. Wilson hooks clear again. And we've talked about it the last few games, Joe. United attacking the Eddie Thompson stand down the slope in the first half. Trying to use that to their advantage, trying to get the fans behind them. Apply some early pressure on the Rangers goal. Gary Kenneth and the chance to put the long throw in. Daly got a touch, come back to Conway. Has to go down as a half wide. chance. Once again, you have to say the Rangers defence hasn't settled. Just a long throw into the area. John Daly, Dan Dodds, go up, comes off a Rangers head, drops to Conway at the edge of the area and he just drills it. Wise and fast to keep his right hand post. Kovacevic, playing that down the line. Lafferty was there in front of Goodwill. But the United striker wins the ball. Now Kovacevic! Oh, what an effort that is! 
Well, his first goal in the United shirt came in the original tie at Ibrox. A headed effort from close range. That would have been as polar opposite as you could get from Mihail Kovacevic. So close he was. No, it needed. You know that ball when he's hit it there, it's bent slightly to the right. But all it needs a bit more spin on it, a bit more bend. That would have nestled. McGregor was, was clearly beaten. It's been a great start from United here, though. Who's in front of us? We get a shot of Lorraine Kelly. United scarf around her neck, watching on. And the kick has been won by United. Drops to Conway, who finds Daly inside the Rangers half. Square ball for Buabit. Tries to measure one wide for Kovacevic on the burst. Lafferty across, sliding in. Wins the ball, concedes a throw in. Well, he just knew there that Lafferty was going to win that challenge. What's went on in the last five minutes for him and Michael Kovacevic, he was making sure he got a sliding challenge in there. What it does do is it gives Gary Kenneth another chance. 18 yards out, down beside the tunnel here. Chance to throw it in. And towards Dodds, Edu behind him. Drops to the edge of the area. Blabin tries a lofted effort, but clears the crossbar quite easily. You can see what the... Intention was from Prince Boab in there, just to try and get a dipping effort that would cause problems for McGregor. Yeah, it would have took something special. He's taking it down the edge of the area. Three Rangers players come rushing out to him. And he just tries to lob it over them, over Al McGregor, who has to be said half a yard off his line. And unfortunately, it just lands in on the track behind the goal. Daly gets in front of Lafferty. And down the line for David Goodwillie. Nutmeg on Danny Wilson. To the byline, Goodwillie pulls it back. It's Stephen oh. Naismith who gets the touch and it goes just wide a goal. Well, first of all, what football from David Goodwillie. He's out on the byline, out on the touchline at the byline. Two defenders go through the middle of them. A third one comes in, he goes past him into the area, plays it back. Is it Naismith who gets the touch on it? It's then scrambling towards the, the Rangers' right hand post. McGregor doesn't think he could do anything with it. Corner taken by Colmate, comes back to him. Right footed. Beasley in front of him, just trying to find some space to cross to the byline. He goes left foot deep towards Kenneth. Well, he had hands all over him. The United fans behind the goal. Gary Kenneth looks to the assistant this near side. Definitely hands all over Gary Kenneth beyond the back post the by Stephen Whitaker. Whitaker gets on the wrong side of him and he just grabs him. Nothing, it's, not, it's not even hidden. He's just put a hand on the shoulder and a hand on the side and pulled Gary Kenneth back. That is a ridiculous decision. Or non decision, we should say. Papach looks down the line for Andrew Little. Kenneth in, slides in with a challenge, wins the ball, bounces back off Little. And allows Kovacevic to take his time and find Boabin. David Robertson now. Goodwillie seems to have the legs on Danny Wilson as they chase down to the near side again. Unfortunately, he can't keep the ball in. Just looking to control it and spin away. You know, Scott, we'll go back to the first game. We've seen this in, on the monitor in front of him again. Wecker gets on the wrong side of Kenneth, who's just trying to knock it back over. He's just, it's one hand rimmed it the chest to Gary Kenneth and one hand on the shoulder and just pulls him back Conway crowded out by Rangers players Gomez then in in front of Edu to win it back here's Boabin David Robertson 25 yards out trying to slip it through for Daly couldn't find a way through and Demarcus Beasley penalised final on Prince Boabin United with a free kick 30-35 yards out yeah I think he's maybe given it is it a handball he's given it for yeah handball against the Rangers player 35 yards out, possibly. Level with the right-hand edge of the six-yard area. So fairly central, and Craig Com is going to have a go, is he? Right-footed, he curls it in. Daly with a header. It's handball again, off. surely! Surely handball, referee! Well, that's an absolutely... Well, you can make your own minds up. The, the gantry here at Tannadice is just rose as one. The ball's into the area. John Daly headers it. The Rangers players at him, sm smacks the ball over the bar. This is unbelievable stuff. Oh, come on, referee. Well, there's one beneath us two minutes ago, Margaro Gomez. And he's calling across Gary Kenneth now to book him. Stuart McDonald, United fans for a moment thought he'd given the penalty. Gary Kenneth's going to get booked for descent. You know, he's given one beneath us. Margaro Gomez blocked the ball with his arm. Dougie McDonald, well... After consultation with the nearside assistant, Martin Cryans, has decided that Gary Kenneth was the guilty party there for dissent. You know, Scott, we'll have to say, two decisions at Ibrox. We spoke about it, people speak about bias and that. You try and talk it down. 
We've just had two ridiculous non-penalty decisions tonight. So that's a pop action out. Not the halfway line, Morris Eddy. Here's it left for Fleck. Naismith bursting forward from midfield. Here's the target of Fleck's pass, but headed out by Sean Dillon. You have to say, Michael Kovacevic at the moment is simply a passenger. I mean, Dillon's headed that one clear, the opportunity for him to go up and win it. He's not able to do it, the leg, leg injury must be quite a severe one. Wilson, it's over the top of Kovacevic. Kenneth coming shoulder to shoulder with Andrew Little, seemed to bounce off the chest of both players. Rangers fans appealing for a penalty behind that goal, nothing doing. Here's Daly, spreads it left for Dillon. There's Gomez, back to Darren Dodds. It's a touch beyond Edu, but it's nicked away from him by Little. Here's Fleck, bearing down on goal. And in came Mihal Kovacevic, brilliant challenge from him. I think that's done his hamstring completely. He stayed down. Kyle Lafferty plays on. Deep ball from him is going to go out for a goal kick. Well, You've that... got to admire the effort of Mihal Kovacevic struggling. He was sprinting back, going through the pain barrier. And it's probably just added, may well have added a couple of weeks to the length of time he might be out that one. Yeah, Dodds trying to go past the players midfield. Fleck gets the ball, he's in there, there's three Rangers players to the right of Gary Kenneth, he plays it, he tries to go his cell, Michael comes from no place, 20 yards out, sliding challenge, wins the ball, and just see him on the monitor in front of us, he's down, he's telling Jeff Clark there cl quite clearly, there's a pool, it's, it's gone. And just to see a replay again of that run from Fleck. Mm. Yeah, it was the right leg that came out to, to hook round and get the back of the heel on the ball as well, so... A further stretch after the sprint. Mihal Kovacevic's day is done as we move into time added on. Only one minute was signalled, and we've played that now, but extra time will be added. United are going to make the change. And Kovacevic will be replaced by Keith Watson, who made his United debut in the Scottish Cup game. In round three tie against St Mirren in the 2007-2008 season. I think maybe by the looks of things, a slight change in Rangers shape at the start of the second half. Kyle Lafferty seems to have went up front now. And it seems a more orthodox 4-4-2. Andrew Little's come to the right-hand side. And I think Doug, Doug McDonald has just justified his penalty decision there by not giving a free kick to United for a very similar thing in the middle of the park. Conway gives it back to Dillon. He finds Goodwillie to feet on the edge of the area. Conway pulls it across the six yard line goes right across it was behind Daly it was behind David Robertson and a let off for Rangers he's played in there with pace and I think David Goodwill I think deliberately dummies out the front post then two United players coming in Naismith in hard on David Robertson concedes a free kick we've just seen it again here the ball in Craig Comey plays it across John Daly is who dummies at the front post David Robertson coming in behind him. It's a yard behind him. Prince Bobbin standing on the penalty area. Frozen to the spot. Another chance goes a begging. Now David Weir. Lafferty comes short, shepherded by Dodds. Dillon trying to play it short to Conway, but Winger had already turned and was making the move longer. Played out. Watson, good challenge on John Fleck. Mm. Wins it and then plays it forward to Goodwillie. Bobbin. Gets the break of the ball, slides it down the right channel for John Daly. He has a look up, sees what's in the box for him, goes deep, finds Craig Conway on the left side of the area. Step back on side onto the right foot, and there's David Robertson, there's no flag. And it's come back to Daly. You know, he's trying to find the top corner. The David Robertson from all about a yard, he took a touch off the back of his heel, turned to head it in. Out came Alan McGregor from nowhere to claw it away from him. Yeah, Daly's long cross, Craig Conley takes it down at the back post, just inside the area, goes past his player. Hits a shot, David Robertson six yards out, flicks his heel at it. McGregor gets across. David Robertson goes in at the same time as him. A yard out, McGregor hand gets there, pushes the ball away. Stephen Whitaker's throw. Lafferty, the time to control. Gets away from Dillon. He's got Beasley to his left. John Fleck to his left as well. Lafferty might fancy going himself. Great challenge from Darren Dodds. Just a yard or so outside the area, slid in, just nicked the ball away from Kyle Lafferty. 
It's a great challenge from Darren Dawson. It's given United the opportunity to break. Prince Wabin plays the ball over the top. David Goodwillie running on top of the right-hand channel. But we are coming across. Goodwillie just had to turn away to keep the ball in. Cross comes in. And it's headed clear. Picked up by John Fleck. Whitaker. Uh, Fleck. And then across came Gomez. Cross played in. Daly, it's just over his head. Whitaker got a touch to that one. Here's Conway inside the penalty area. Driving towards the byline on the left-hand side. It's a touch off Whitaker. Let's it go out for the corner. And once again, the United crowd rise to their feet. They could sense the opportunity here. United's left hand side, up beside the shed. Craig Conway over to take the corner. Darren Dodds, Gary Kenneth again go up into the six yard area. Plenty of bodies in the box to aim for. Corner goes deep towards Kenneth. It's again a handful of his shirt. The defender marking him. I think it was Whitaker again. You can see shirt again, Gary Kenneth's shirt almost coming off his back. It's the visitors who have a throw in, which Whitaker takes. Returned to him by Lafferty. Gomez in to try and nick it away from Lafferty. Picked up by Whitaker again and came Darren Dodge with a challenge. Edu squared for Beasley. Here's Sasa Papach joining the attack. Watson out to try and close him down. Back to Beasley again. Gomez snapping away at him, wins the ball. Gets beyond the challenge of Naismith as well. Trying to poke it through, he could have gone right to find Goodwill, it tried to play it left. And that stretch from Gomez as he played it, seems to have done him more harm again. Rangers coming forward, Watson will have to clear that with Papach on his shoulder. Yeah, and that's as you say, Margaro Gomez, similar to Michael Kovacevic, stretching in to win the ball there, signalling to the bench that his, his evening's done. There's Novo collecting the throw in. Work back to him by Papach. Nacho Novo just inside the area. Shot blocked by Kenneth. Runs away from Goodwillie, but through to John Daly. He's trying to hold it up, but doesn't get the support. Can't find David Robertson. Clash off the ball. David Robertson went down. I think Naismith just ran into him as he tried to make his way forward. And the two of them will run at pace down the left wing. Naismith with the ball. Comes back to Beasley. Keith Watson stuck to the task well. Out for a throw in. That should hopefully give United the chance to make the change that they need to make. And it's a straight swap. It's fresh legs of Danny Swanson, who's who's looked a bit tired himself in the last few weeks. He's left on the bench this evening. And he'll come into the midfield. David Robertson, you'd imagine, will come inside one. And Swanson will go to the right-hand side of the midfield. And now Gomez, who's missed four SPL games this season. Two of them through suspension, two through injury. I hope that's not going to be a serious one to cause him to miss the important games coming up. Wilson out to Beasley again. Misplaced pass from him, he's looking for compatriot Morris Edu. Swanson finds Keith Watson. And Watson forward to Prince Boavin, he's muscled off it by Stevie Naismith. Edu in with a sliding challenge. It's a great battling from the United midfield, Danny Swanson and then Prince Boavin. Just not giving them a moment, winning the ball back. Longer ball by Watson, picked up by Daly, back to Craig Conway now. A high foot in there from Papach, and that's the one that the free kick Conway was then fouled at after that by Naismith, I think it was, but Dougie McDonald seems to be saying that he's pulled it back for the first one, high foot from Sasa Papach. Yeah, once again, it's a, you know, it's a two free kicks a yard apart. The significant thing there is what he's doing is he's saying Stephen Naismith hasn't committed another foul after being cautioned. Five and a half minutes to go. United with a free kick on the right-hand side, which Craig Conway will take. Dodds, Kenneth, John Daly, David Robertson, David Goodwillie all in the box as Conway plays it in. It's Darren Dodds who gets his head to it, couldn't direct it goalward. Oh, it's a chance, it is a chance. And he didn't have to jump, it was just coming straight for him. As the cross comes in, Dodds, bang on his head, no need to move. Seven yards out, middle of the goal, perfect for him. Puts his head through it. Two yards past the left-hand post, Alan McGregor. We are forced back to Alan McGregor. Swanson wins a header inside his own half. Peter Houston trying to get the attention of Dusan Pernice at the moment. Advantage played as Stephen Naismith comes forward for Rangers. 20 yards out, lining up the shot. Kenneth and Dodds both came across. I think it was Dodds who got the touch to block. Breaks for Craig Conway. Here's Prince Boavin, halfway line. Swanson. Here's John Daly, left edge of the penalty area, onto the right foot, measures across, it's headed away. Comes back here towards Swanson, challenge came in on him, 
David Robertson finds Daly. He thinks it in back, find the back four again. Oh, no, flags no, up. No, where the flag is up. United oh. find the back of the net. David Goodwillie was there, but the flag up. Brian McGarry on the far side. You know, the flags went up very early. We're going to see it again here. David Goodwillie level as the ball's played. This is unbelievable. David Goodwillie level with the last defender. Ball over the top. He gets in there, puts the ball into the net. It should be one nothing United at the moment. Barry Kenneth quickly taking a free kick up towards Daly. Now David Robertson gets beyond Little into the area. Left foot cross blocked by Whitaker behind for a corner. And you can hear the United support here. Three minutes to go. You know, I'd almost forgot about the penalty decision in the first half. Such was the excitement in this game. You see it there on the tired legs. A rare moment, a great play from United. And what's Played been a tussle in the second half. Plays it off a pap patch. It'll be a throw into United. 15 yards inside the Rangers half. Comes back to Boabin. A little bit of space for him appears. He's a look up. Squares for Danny Swanson. Took a bobble up in front of him. But he's played it towards the byline. David Robertson able to wrap his foot round it. Daly's header! Oh! Great save from McGregor. Fantastic save from Alan McGregor. It was bound for the bottom corner. John Daly's header. Ten yards out. And the Rangers keeper keeps his side in the Scottish Cup. Nacho David Novo's. Robertson plays the ball back there from the byline. And it's John Daly who gets his head onto it. David Robertson down for Goodwillie, edge of the area. Plays it in behind, David Robertson out. McGregor's out as well. Yes! 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 You're not going to get the wall! Yes! Come on! Yes! Yes! Get it there! Yes! Come on! on. Yes! 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 Oh, there's absolute bedlam here! Absolute bedlam! The two stands, Eddie Thompson stand. Oh, the George Fox, both stands. Oh, there's absolute bedlam, the United players. And it's David Robertson who's got the final touch. 89 and a half minutes on the clock. The ball, Goodwill, he tries a shot, deflected up, six yards out. Robertson goes in with a challenge with Alan McGregor, it bounces off him and rolls into the back of the net to make it Dundee United 1, Rangers 0. It was a truly a 50-50 ball, McGregor came out. He would have been lucky to stay in the park if he'd missed time that. He slid in, studs up. David Robertson, fully committed, went for it. In fact, I think it was McGregor's touch that took it back off. David Robertson, and into the back of the net. David Goodwillie's picked up a yellow card. Immediately after the restart, Rangers want to bring on Chris Boyd. Alan McGregor's out to take the free kick. Just a couple of yards inside the Rangers' half. Three minutes of time to be added on. Rangers will make the change. Chris Boyd will come on to replace Andrew Little. Last throw of the dice for Walter Smith's side. The rule book was out the window from the officials again. Two players cross about 15 yards on the pitch. And it's only the old farm. It doesn't matter. Alan McGregor with a free kick. Loads it into the mixer. Gary Kenneth up head and shoulders above everyone to win the header. Beasley goes down under very little contact from Goodwillie. David Goodwillie needs to be careful. He's not going to get any joy out of Doogie McDonald. He's just been booked. Just needs to make sure there's not a word out of place to the official. You know, you have to ask the question, though. We score a goal, and within 20 seconds of play, Rangers are awarded two free kicks. Opportunities to put the ball into the area. Something's just happened inside the area. Sean Dillon turning towards the assistant, asking if he's seen anything. David, David Weir, Weir and Darren Dodd's being called over. I think it's just going to be a word of warning from Dougie McDonald to the pair of them. This will increase the time to be added on, I'm sure. A couple of stoppages here. David Robertson's first goal of the season. Came on to substitute in the first tie. Beasley plays the free kick in. Headed goalwards by Danny Wilson, I think it was. Sir Perney saves. You know, you could hear a cheer there. It was almost like a goal had been scored. That's the United fans saluting a save from Dusan Pernice. Well, Rangers fans tonight have been celebrating things going on elsewhere. It may be that whilst their title challenge looks a lot more favourable oh, no tonight. Way! Well, the title challenge looks a lot more favourable tonight. It may be that tonight is the night that the treble bid ends at the hands of United. John Daly just being caught offside. And the Eddie Thompson stand to our right. Everyone is doing the Shed Boys dance. 
two minutes and 20 seconds into the signals, three minutes time added on. There will be a little bit more, I'm sure. Rangers load it forward, Darren Dodds win the header. Picked up by Naismith, David Orison wins it. Here's David Goodwillie, he can just take it for a run, he's got four players, four first on, four support. One. Use it, square it Goody. You've got one to your left, you might want to go himself. Goodwillie beyond Weir. Deflected up and Whitaker clears. It was five against two. And now breaks for Beasley. And United with players caught up field. They didn't need to go chasing. It's now four against four for Rangers. Novo, great block, Sean Dillon, out for the throw-in. You know, you're quite right. We had a four-on-one situation, but we didn't need to have four players up there. Goody probably should have passed it. We're now played the three minutes of stoppage time. Rangers have this throw-in 20 yards out, the right-hand side. Taken by Whitaker. back to David Weir. It's full time! Yeah! Yeah, can make it to the semi-finals! Yeah! Sunday the 11th of April, it will be Dundee United against Wraith Rovers in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Oh, just fantastic the scenes here. The United players are all hugging each other. The Eddie Thompson stand, the George Fox stand, everyone's on their feet. Their scarves showing, everything absolutely superb. Peter Houston, Paul Hegarty. Out to take the acclaim, applauding the United fans. The United players crowded round David Robertson in the centre circle. And just, I'm sure you can listen and hear the noise from the United fans. Yeah, I was just waiting to suggest, Scott, we we'll just be quiet and let people soak up the atmosphere here. You know, there's not a man in either of the stands. House and United supporters have left the ground. They're all still on their feet, all still singing. The players still celebrating on the pitch. They're now just walking towards the tunnel in front of the Eddie Thompson stand. Gary Kenneth over towards the fans, punches the air with delight. The fans respond. Just fantastic scenes here. I think every single person here with United at heart dreamed of this happening tonight. Yes, Dreamed of it, most believed it, most believed it would happen. Some didn't. Everyone is ecstatic at what they've witnessed. And you've seen a shot of the smiling chairman, Stephen Thompson. United will be at Hamden in April. It was a final minute goal from David Robertson that won it. Found the back of the net. It had been done the hard way. Penalty shouts had gone begging. A disallowed goal in the second half that looked dubious as well. But the final score. A very noisy and jubilant time tonight.